that water right there, Eric. <laughs> morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to you. Wherever you are, fam, give God all the glory, okay? Get on your knees in that secret place, praise and worship Him, because you woke you up today. Yeah, another gift, because today, you feel me? So, yeah, man is all the distraction, spiritual warfare. We're going to get y'all healed, get you right. Because I know y'all missed me the past two days. And Daddy told me to take a break for a second, even though I'm ready to keep going. He said, nah, calm down. He even had the phone shut down to where I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So even if I wanted to, y'all still had to be patient, you know, talking to the Holy Spirit amongst yourself. You know what I'm saying? Until I get back up to reading out loud grandma time. And then that's so we doing three chapters. You ain't got time to read the word, you ain't got time for wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> the only way you gonna have wisdom and knowledge. Read the word of God. Amen. So Psalm P S A L M and S at the end of the Psalm, depending on your holy Bible. We're going to read Psalm 69, 68, I mean, 6, 69, 6, 68, 68, and 6, 7, all right? Because we stopped at 66, right? And that was on page 668. So we're going to do 69 first, 69, 68, and then 67. And then from there, you get healed, fulfilled, and pass that wisdom and knowledge on. As God leads you to do that through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, don't ever, ever make Jesus last. You make him first. Cause that way God is first. And he see that you put his son first. That means the Holy Spirit is going to move you first and foremost. You feel me? Because you with the truth and not chasing the lie, which is the devil, okay? I don't understand how y'all quick to chase a lie. It's a lie. It's, unless you lying to yourself and you think you like doing it, okay? All right, let's pray against y'all here. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to wake up, breathe, Worship, praise, uplift, and glorify your holy name. Thank you for every breath, every heartbeat, every organ functioning in this body. You have your way in it by your Holy Spirit, providing us with wisdom and knowledge according to your riches and glory, for your purpose in our life to help and bless and nurture. I pray that every listener and viewer that come across this blessing of reading out loud that they will read out loud with me and start to heal, be cured, be fulfilled, start to have unspeakable joy because now they know the words they are reading and speaking is real, is alive, it's effective, it's quick, it works right away according to their heart opening to it. I pray it be with God for Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And out of their own kind of way of thinking and flesh, desires, interrupting and hindering the full value of that person to God and his creation for his glory. I pray that through the reading out loud of all three of these chapters on this God-given day, that every listener and viewer will have a closer understanding of who God is in their life. Because you are everything in mind, my source, my breathing, my life, period. You give me life, Lord. So teach me to give it to the one who don't know everything. And if they do, it's not correct. It's not clear. Help us to clarify one another's life through this reason. And help us to heal each other by encouraging one another to continue reading your word until we get it. Your word is inexhaustible, Father. So we might as well take our time and remember the instructions. You first. 
nothing less. And may you be glorified in every way, way. And they and that the listening of you will be fulfilled in shape in the Holy Spirit for Apple Moon. And they will give you all the praise and worship you reverently for Apple Moon. And they have that personal intimacy that they don't have to get validation from another because they know that intimacy with Jesus Christ they self, nothing less. Please be glorified and uplifted. Thank you for this opportunity to pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Cook it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. All right. Psalm chapter 69. First, okay, here we go. At the top of uh Psalm chapter 69 on page 670. And my grandma Dorothy, black and girl, holy bop. Grandma Dorothy is now playing. Here we go. Yeah. All right, it say, the title say, A Cry of Distress. Okay. And the title for the psalm, that's at the end of Psalm chapter 69. The title say, To the Sheep Musician Upon Shoshanim, come a psalm of David. I pray I pronounce that right. Now forgive me. All right. Y'all there yet? Page six, seven. All right. Verse one. Save me, come O God. Semicolon. For the waters are come and unto my soul. Two. Verse two. I sink in deep my come where there is no standard. Come, I am come into deep water. Come, with the floods overflowing. Period. Verse three. I am weary of my crying. Come, my throat is dry. Come, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. Period. Verse four. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. Come. They that would destroy me, come, bear my enemies wrongfully, come, I might come. Then I will store that which I took not away. Period. Verse 5. O oh God, come, thou knowest my foolishness, semicolon, and my sins are not hid from thee. Period. Verse 6. Let not them that wait on thee, comma, O Lord God of hope, comma, be ashamed for my sake, comma. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, comma, O God of Israel, period. Verse 7, because for thy sake I have borne reproach, semicolon. Shame hath covered my face, period. Verse 8. I am become a stranger unto my brother, come, and an alien unto my mother's children. Period. Verse 9. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, from come, and the reproaches of them that are reproached thee are fallen, fallen upon me. Period. Verse 10. When I wept, come, and chased them, my soul with falcon, come, that was to my reproach, period. Verse 11. I made sackcloth, also my garment, semicolon, and I became a proverb to them, period. Verse 12. They that sit in the gate speak against me, semicolon, and that was the song of the drunkards, period. Verse 13. But as for me, come, my prayer is unto thee, come, O Lord. In an acceptable time, come, O oh God, come, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me, come, in the truth of thy salvation, period. Verse 14, <clears throat> Good. deliver me out of the mire, come, and let me not sink, come, let me be delivered from them that hate me, come, and out of the deep water, period. Verse 15, let not the water flood overflow me, comma, 
Nothing let the deep swallow him yet, comma, and let not the pit shut him out upon him, period. Verse 16, hear me, comma, O Lord, semicolon, for thy loving kindness is good, covenant. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercy, period. Verse 17, and hide not thy face from thy servant, semicolon, for I am in trouble, covenant. Hear me speedily, period. Verse 18. Draw now unto my soul, come, and redeem me, covenant. Deliver me because of mine enemy, period. Verse 19. Thou hast known my reproach, come, and my shame, come, and my dishonor, covenant. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Period. Verse 20. Reproach hath broken my heart, semicolon, and I am full of heaviness, colon, and I looked for some to take pity, comma, but there was not, semicolon, and for comfort, comma, but I found it, period. Verse 21. They gave me also God for my meat, semicolon. And in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink, period. Verse 22. <clears throat> Let their table become a snare before them, cut, and that which should have been for their welfare, comma. Let it become a trap, period. Verse 23. Let their eyes be darkened, comma, that they see not, semicolon. And make their loin, loin continually to shake. Period. Verse 24. My bad. Pour out thine indignation upon them, comma, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Period. Verse 25. Let their habitation be desolate, similar, and let none dwell in their tent. Period. Verse 26, for they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they taught to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded, period. Verse 27, add iniquity unto their iniquity, curly, and let them not come into thy righteousness, period. Verse 28, <clears throat> let them be blotted out of the book of the lip, comma, and not be written with the righteous, period. Verse 29, But I am poor and sorrowful, come. let thy salvation, comma, O God, come. set me up on high, period. Verse 30, I will praise the name of God with the song, come. and will magnify him with thanksgiving, period. Verse 31, This also shall please the Lord better than an ark, a bullet that have horns and hoof. Period. Verse 32. The humble shall see this, comma, and be glad, covenant. And your heart shall live that seek God. Period. Verse 33. For the Lord hears the poor, comma, and despises not his prison. Period. Verse 34. Let the heaven and earth praise him, comma, the sea, comma, and everything that moving therein, period. Verse 35. For God will save Zion, comma, and will build the city of Judah, comma, that they may dwell there, comma, and have it in possession, period. Verse 36. The seed also of his servants shall inherit it, comma, and they that love his name shall dwell therein, period. And that is the end of Psalm chapter 69. Yeah. I right, go back and we read after we we read uh, now after we read Psalm chapter 68 for the healing in it. I pray, Heavenly Father, thank you again for this opportunity to read Psalm chapter 68. And by your Holy Spirit, we read it to a point that the listening viewer 
will be healed quickly as they call on your son, Jesus' name, and be fulfilled in going back and chasing the Holy Spirit for more of that love, more of that taking care of that spiritual hunger, feeding them righteously in the midst of that oppression and depression state they were stuck in, still in sin, they didn't even know it was sin. So I pray this wakes them up through the reading out loud of your Holy Spirit, of your word, by your Holy Spirit, guiding us, leading us, and directing our words and acts, and most of all, our heart, to cling to wisdom and knowledge as we read, to be a help and a blessing to those who need it most. And thank you for the opportunity to pray this prayer, and those be understanding of why we reading out loud in the first place is so that they get nurtured to their coordination and won't be able to have an excuse when your judgment comes because they show Jesus Christ and decide to read about his life which has given us life in the first place through his sacrifice, death, burial, and resurrection and this living true word resides in us to pass to those around us so they will be saved from going to hell. Nothing like And you be glorified and lifted in the dark. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Fuck. All right, here we go again, y'all. Psalm 68. P S A L M S at the end of Psalm, chapter 68. And then learn your holy Bible with that asset on Psalm. <laughs> All right. Okay, on this page, the top of the page, 669, the title says, God has gone before his people. So God always go before us. If you're a believer. Okay. If you're a non believer, you got a lot of surprises you ain't gonna like coming your way. So. Psalm chapter 68, the title for that is say, To the Chief Musician, comma, a psalm or a song of David. All right, here we go. Psalm 68, verse 1. Yeah, there you Yeah, I think. Damn, like, man, yeah. Like, still. They be hating when we be reading out loud. They be trying to block and distract. That girl, y'all, that girl. We, we at war right here. Cut. The devil is alive. Okay, he loves. All right, God first. Verse 1. Psalm 68, verse 1. Let God arise, comma. Let his enemies be scattered, cut. Let them also that hate him flee before him, period. Verse 2, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As rocks melted before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Verse 3, but let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, let them exceedingly rejoice. Period. Verse 4, sing unto God, comma, sing praises to his name, cousin, as told him, as told him, that writeth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, J-A-H, comma, and rejoice before him, period. And that's somebody else calling. You can get rid of these guys, guys. Let me repeat that. Verse 4, sing unto God, comma, sing praises to his name, calling, as told him that writeth upon the heavens by his name, Jah, comma, and rejoice before him, period. Verse 5, a father of the father, comma, and a judge of the widow, comma, is God in his holy habitation, period. I'm going to say that again. Verse 5. A father of the father, comma, and the judge of the widow, comma, is God in his holy habitation. Period. Verse 6. 
God setteth the solitary in families, covenant. He bringeth out those which are bound with shame, covenant. But the rebellious dwell in the dry land, period. Verse 7. O oh God, come, and when thou wentest forth before thy people, come, when thou didst march through the wilderness, come, come, Selah, come, verse 8. The earth shook, come, the heavens are so dry at the presence of God, come. Even Sinai itself <clears throat> was moved at the presence of God, come, the God of Israel, period. Verse 9, Thou, comma, O God, comma, didst send a plentiful rain, comma, whereby thou didst confirm thine inheritance, comma, when it was weary, period. Verse 10, <clears throat> Good. Thy congregation hath dwelt therein, cause thou, comma, O God, comma, hath prepared of thy goodness for the poor, period. Verse 11. <clears throat> the Lord gave the word, covenant. Great was the company of those that punish him. Period. Verse 12. Kings of army did flee apace, covenant. And she that tarried at home divided the spoil. Period. Verse 13. Though ye have lain among the pot, covenant. Yet shall ye be as the wings of a dove covered with silk, comma, and her feathers with yellow gold. Period. Verse 14. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, comma, it was white as snow in thumb. Period. Verse 15. The hill of God is as the hill of Bashan. Semicolon. And high hill as the hill of Bashan. Period. Verse 16. Why leap ye, comma, ye high hill? Question mark. This is the hill which God desired to dwell in. Simical. Ye, comma, the Lord will dwell in it forever. Period. Verse 17. <clears throat> the chariots of God are 20,000, comma, even thousands of angels, come. The Lord is among them, come. As in Sanat, come. In the holy place, period. Verse 18. Thou hast ascended on high, come. Thou hast led captivity cap, come. Thou hast received gifts for men, them come. Yes, yeah, come. For the rebellious also, come. That the Lord God might dwell in mind. Period. Verse 19. Blessed be the Lord, come, who daily loaded us with benefit, come, even the God of our salvation. Period. Selah. Period. Verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. Semicolon. And unto, and unto God, the Lord belong the issues from death. Period. Verse 21, but God shall wound the head of his enemy, comma, and the hairy scalp of such an one as goeth on still in his trespasses, period. Verse 22, the Lord said, comma, I will bring again from Bishai, comma, I will bring my people again from the depth of the sea, comma. Verse 23, that thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thine enemy, comma, and the tongue of thy dog in the sand, period. Verse 24. <clears throat> they have seen thy going, comma, O God, semicolon, even the going of my God, comma, my king, comma, in the sanctuary, period. Verse 25. The singers went before, comma, the players on instrument followed after semicolon. Among them were the dancers playing with timbrels. Period. Verse 26. Bless ye God in the congregation, comma, even the Lord, comma, 
from the fountain of Israel. Period. <clears throat> Verse 27. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, comma, the princes of Judah and their council, comma, the princes of Zebulun, comma, and the princes of Naphtali, Naphtali, period. I pray I pronounced that right. It's one in the tribe. Verse 28. Thy God hath commanded thy strength, comma, strengthen, comma, O God, comma, that which thou hast wrought for us, period. <clears throat> Playing through my hair. Hold on. <coughs> Play through my Verse 29 again. Because of thy temple at Jerusalem. I mean, verse 28. Verse 28. Thy God has commanded thy strength, cousin. Strength, comma, O God, comma, that which thou hast wrought for it. Period. Verse 29, because of thy temple at Jerusalem, no bad. Verse 29, because of thy temple at Jerusalem, shall king bring present unto thee. Period. Verse 30, rebuke the company of spearmen, coming, the multitude of the bulls, coming, Power off. with the cows of the people, coming. Till everyone submit himself with pieces of silk, cut. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Scatter thou the people that delight in war. Period. Verse 31. Princes shall come out of each simicum. Ethiopia shall soon stretch out her hands unto God. Period. Verse 32. Sing unto God, comma, ye kingdoms of the earth, semicolon. O sing praises unto the Lord, semicolon. Salah, colon. Verse 33. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heaven, comma, which were of earth, semicolon. Lo, comma, he doth send out his voice, comma, and that a mighty voice. Hey. Verse 34. Ascribe ye strength unto God, cousin. His excellency is over Israel, cousin, and his strength is in the cloud. Period. Verse 35. O God, cousin, thou art terrible out of thy holy place, cousin. The God of Israel is he that gives strength and power unto his people. Period. Blessed be God. Period. Right at the end of Psalm chapter 68. 68. So, let's go back to uh, 67. Pray and get y'all fulfilled. Man, that was... Y'all need to go back and reread. Yeah? You don't understand how much value you are surrounded by. From the inside flowing out. Let's pray for Psalm chapter 67. We come to you, Father, asking you for permission to partake of your goodness, of your word, and feast. Take our time with this feast so it may hit the listener and viewer and ourselves in that dark place that need to be healed, strengthened, cured, taken care of spiritually, mentally, then physically, according to your word. And the way it works in it, patient, to build correct with wisdom and knowledge. So whatever direction you bless us to walk in, someone will get healed and fulfilled according to your riches and glory. By them believing in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, and Him as the Son of God, the Holy Creator, who bless us with the Holy Spirit, that guide us and lead us in all truth, being the best love maker this earth ever has known. Continue to guide us, Lord, by your, your word and the reading out loud as we look in your mirror. Continue correcting and chastising us, breaking us down and building us back up better than we were yesterday. 
Thank you for the gift card today that we are able to rejoice, worship, and pray. With all the talent, skills, blessed work at most of all heart to help us know who you are and get to you and run to you, Lord Jesus, so that they know that God is good all the time. And Jesus is Lord all the time. And that the Holy Spirit is a warrior, a comforter, a reminder, a washer, a washer over, over his love. And most of all, the best love maker this earth has ever known to man and mankind and the animals even know that God is good to his creation for those who believe on these things. Yes, because now they know the devil is the light, cheater, and the deceiver, kid. And you, Lord Jesus, thank you for equipping them to defeat the devil and his angels. No matter what come across, you teach us to make Everything, obey your word and will, so that our purpose will shine bright for those who need light and run to you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank God. Amen again. Okay. Uh, here we go. Psalm chapter uh, P-S-A-L-M S-67. Sh chapter 67. <clears throat> And he trying, I trying to mess up my stuttering and got a lot of saliva coming out of nowhere. Wow. Flowing with the earthly, not not earthly, but flowing with the uh what the car fountain of water. See when you when you uh keep God first continuously, you stop being overwhelmed. You start overflowing from your belly, fountains of water. So forgive me, y'all, if I'm, if I'm a little, you know, stuttering while I'm reading. Psalm chapter 67. Grandma Dorothy is not playing, okay? Yeah, we're going to follow that yellow brick road we read out loud. <laughs> Title is Psalm 67 on top of page 668. The Great Works of God. Amen. The title for Psalm 67 is To the Chief Musician. Or Nijanath, or Niganath, comma. A song, a song, or a song. If I pronounce that wrong, forgive me. Here we go. Whoo, verse one. Y'all there yet? Verse one. God, be merciful unto us, comma, and bless us, semicolon, and cause his face to shine in plenty, semicolon. Selah, period. Verse 2, that thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving help among all nations, period. Verse 3, let the people praise thee, O God, semicolon. let all the people praise thee, period. Verse 4, O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, colon, for thou shalt judge the people righteously, comma, and govern the nation upon the earth, upon the earth, period. Salah, period. Verse 5. Let the people praise thee, comma, O God, semicolon. Let all the people praise thee, period. Verse 6. Then shall the earth yield her increase, semicolon. And God, comma, even our own God, comma, shall bless it, period. Verse 7. God shall bless it, semicolon, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him, period. Wow, and that's the end of Psalm, P-S-A-L-M-S, chapter 67. Wow. I pray you are healing, being fulfilled. If not, go back and, and get that healing in there. While you pray, ask with the Holy Spirit to guide you, okay? Just start with looking in the mirror reading first, okay? Because y'all scared to do that part. Which I don't know why you're expecting me to teach you anything else until you do the first part first, okay? Obedient to the mirror. Yeah? Stop ducking the mirror. Still you. <laughs> All right, so 
Put the guns down. Pick the holy Bible up. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for that opportunity to read. Peace. Eat some good food. That's the live, okay? That's... Y'all gonna catch me in a few. Sorry about the past two days, but the Lord is nice to her. He wanted to keep me to himself and get back to y'all at his appointed time. Today was the opportunity to do that. I pray you give God all the glory in every breath and every step you take going forward so that, so that others around you know that God is the living true God, okay? He's real. His son Jesus died for us, and we need to be sacrificing our life for him and his kingdom, okay? Because his kingdom is everlasting, okay? Not burning in the fire, torture, and torment with the devil and his angels who is evil. Okay, you do not want evil. Yeah, you better stop playing with it, thinking you like it. That's an illusion. God waiting for you to step out. Sleep on him if you want to. I advise you not to sleep on Jesus, okay? Because God is waiting for you to match that. Just so he can show you his son, Jesus. One more time. Uh, so, call on Jesus. Get in your secret place. Spit that heart out. Let them know what's up so they can make it better and clean it up. Y'all see, I'm being, I'm being hit up over here. While I'm giving y'all this reading out loud, everybody want to contact me now. One thing at a time, okay? <laughs> One thing at a time. One thing at a time. I don't multitask. I make it look like I'm doing that, but I, I, one thing at a time, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ, baby. Oh. <laughs> Catch y'all later. Peace. Love y'all. Stop killing these shots. Get along. What you put in and nothing is what you're going to get out according to God's purpose for that. So give everything to God and make it obey the word of God so your paper can shine and save a night from going to hell. In Jesus' name, amen. And then that's good. Love, peace, good. Oh.